Hey guys, what is going on? Dylan here. Got our very first build of Season 23 for you, and this one is a doozy. You're definitely going to want to give this one a try. Uh, it is a Solar Hunter build, courtesy of a buddy of mine. It is going to heavily feature the exotic shards of Galanor. Throwing knife final blows decrease the cooldown of your super hits, and final blows with Blade Barrage will return super energy after the super ends. Uh, so the name of the game is using your Blade Barrage. The hits and kills with that will give you super energy back, and then using your uh, throwing knife to get as much super energy back as you can. Look at this clip here. Look at the lack of super energy I have. I'm just going to go on a 20 second killing rampage with my throwing knife and see how much super energy I get just in this short duration of 20 seconds. I'm just going to let this clip play out. So here I use my gambler's dodge to get my melee back. And it's just, it's crazy the amount of super energy you get over such a short duration with this build. We went from basically having nothing to a full on almost having our super in that short duration. So. I would suggest pairing a weapon uh, with Incandescent on this build. I would strongly suggest something like Kallus' Mini Tool or what I prefer, the Zaoli's Bane. Mine has Explosive Payload and Incandescent on it. Now, the meat of the build, the most important part of the build is going to be the Knock'em Down aspect, the Knife Trick, and Ember of Torches Fragment. You can kind of tweak it and use what you want, uh, but make sure that you have those three components in that build because that is what makes most of this work, of course, with the exotic as well. Um, but let's take a look at the build I use, and I would strongly suggest using what I have here. So Blade Barrage, of course, uh, going to be using Gambler's Dodge to get our melee back. Triple Jump. Then we're going to be using the Knife Trick, which again, very important. Make sure you're using Knife Trick. And then the Healing Grenade just to get some burst healing. Uh, the most important part of the build, knock them down. Uh, basically, it adds more projectiles to your blade barrage, but also, while radiant, final blows with your equipped throwing knife fully refunds your melee energy. Pairs very, very nicely with Ember of Torches. So, those two things together work off of each other. Make sure you have those. And then we're going to be using uh, On Your Mark for the other aspect. Now, for the fragments, we're going to be using Ember of Ashes just to apply more Scorch. Ember of Solace, radiant and restoration effects applied have an increased duration. Ember of Singeing, your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. And again, that's why something like Incandescent works. Uh, Ember of Torches, now this is the big one. Powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. And then while you're radiant, you also get your melee energy back. And then Ember of Empyrean, which again, solar weapon kills, will extend the duration of radi ra uh, Radiant and Restoration. Now, for mods, I would suggest... Uh, let's see, from yeah, for mods, these are going to work really well with it. So we're going to be using Hands On... We're going to be using Focusing Strike. We're going to be using Heavy Handed. Uh, for the chest piece, you can use kind of whatever you want. But for the boots, we're going to be using uh, Recuperation and Better Already. Just kind of for picking up orbs and getting our health back. And then for our class item, we're going to be using Outreach. Uh, which will just basically reduce our melee Um when using our class ability. So these mods kind of just all pair nicely with it. And I would suggest definitely having hands-on and uh, focusing strike, if nothing else. But yeah, um, that's the build. So basically throw knives, use your blade brush, throw knives. Oh, and here, um, I also, I would suggest maybe taking a look at the heritage with recombination. If you see there, because we're using energy weapons, we had recombination times 10 and we just one shot that lost sector boss. Now I know lost sector bosses are kind of weak, but that was a 130,000 damage shot with the heritage. So I would just suggest taking a look at that as well. So let me know what you guys think of this build. Again, thank you to my buddy Dylan for being the one to show me this build. And uh, yeah, I will definitely be taking this one into the day one of the uh, dungeon coming out tomorrow. Well, today actually at the time of this video coming out and yeah, uh, throw grenades, use your blade barrage. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.